all right welcome in all welcome in it's uh saturday night we are in boulders gate three on uh reina again and we're gonna go see if we can rescue the grand duke this time and uh i've got my stylish garbage bag on compliments of joe biden and um yeah you know me i can't let anything just you know slide or anything like that so yeah I'm in a pretty good mood tonight. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get going on this quest. And I'm hoping it's going to be a uh, interesting, lively night. So I, I hope if the gods are watching me. I don't know, Reina. Maybe they are. So anyway, first things first. Good. I was just starting to miss the sound of your voice. Oh, is it that sweet? Anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Wow, I've got quite a few people on right now. Welcome in, welcome in all. I got a stream going over on YouTube and also on Twitch. And like I said, I got my complimentary hefty garbage bag on for the evening. Compliments of Joe Biden. Uh, yep, yep. Too good to pass up, you know. Too good of the memes to pass up so yeah uh, i'll probably get i'll probably get deplatformed demonetized whatever don't really give a shit anyway of course of course Just the one Dang, them two are like really making out. Wow. All right. Home at last. Thank you for being by my side through all of this. I never realized I could have a true family or a true love. Of course. All right. So once again, make sure you update your uh, video drivers because I did an update a few days ago and i tell you every time the nvidia comes out with a new video driver the, f the f high definition in this game just gets better and better so very impressed with it and uh let's see if we can go rescue the grand duke speaking of duke my 21 year old cat because his birthday is here next week um he's very sick at the moment and he's probably not going to make it through the weekend so trying to trying to think positive here and trying to you know be cursed you know praying that he, he he gets better i mean he did get up today and uh go drink some water so We'll just see how he does, but I'm, I mean, the poor guy, like in human years, is like 110 years old. So it's just, you know, a matter of time of him passing away. And um, I just, he's upstairs right now in his cat bed and just sleeping. So yeah, I'm probably going to have to, you know, bury him later. I just... He got a sinus infection, took him to the vet. The vet said his heart and lungs were good. And uh, they gave him an antibiotic shot. And uh, he's just not doing well right now. So, but he did drink some water today. So, he's, he's not doing good. 
and uh, yeah and yesterday since it was a pretty decent day out yesterday um, yeah I ended up have I ended up uh, you know digging 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 a grave for him just just in case before the ground becomes like frozen and becomes solid like concrete so and uh yeah so yeah it's a good idea to save often you know uh let's see wow our quest log is starting to actually um uh, Thin down, you know. This one will probably never be completed because I've got all the parts. <clears throat> oh shit, we're under attack. What the hell? Spawning creatures. Oh shit. Threatened, temporary hostile. Alright, let's just let's just back up. I downloaded another another mod which will spawn creatures randomly, so And of course Shadowheart always misses. Let's just see what happens. I thirst for combat. Mm. Survival is all that matters. So yeah, I, I download, downloaded this mod that adds creatures to fights and stuff like that because uh, I just kind of wanted to make the game a little more interesting. And I think we're accomplishing it. Still breathing, despite everything. All right. So when I go off screen a little bit and go silence, it means uh, somebody's hitting me up on one of my other monitors over here. So, but let's see what spawns. Oh, shit! A big bad guy. Uh oh. Shields up. Mm. All right, who's up? Gale? Torment. Decent hits. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that was a good hit. Nice, nice, very nice, very, very nice. And we're just going to retreat over oh, here. Because that, that, that baddie's going to detonate. Mm. Nah, we'll just hit him. <laughs> retreat. Right? Let's get the hell out of here. Can we even... Infernal Acuity. Can we even get rid of this thing? 
Nice. Okay. Okay. I I like it. Let's go loot this guy. Here, I hope. Ah. Well, worth some gold. Moving ahead. All right. Let's see if we can uh, do a save. See if we can do this. Uh, having a whiskey tonight. I had a little too much last night. So I'm just going to limit myself to two, not like eight, like last night. Yeah, that was a bit much. It was just a hell of a week. So anyway, um, we do have a new member to the family. His name is Red. Um, kitty cat. He'll probably join us here in a little bit. He loves attention. So he's a, he's a good cat, sweetie cat. All right, here we go. And by the way, I always screw this this mission up, so. Yes. No. Let's see. Okay, um, we really don't have much left. So, all right, let's just do this, get it out of the way. Aren't you the intrepid little adventurer? Digging and diving where you don't belong. Damn. I didn't know that they had, uh, you know, teams in like Zoom and like, uh, you know, remote, you know, video capability. Oh. All right, number one, I'm here to rescue the hostages, Gortosh. What the hells is this place? Number three, uh, middle finger you, Gortosh. Let the hostages go. Cut the crap, Gortosh. I go where I choose and I'm curious about what's down here. Uh, the dirge comment, you're mine to take from Gortosh. I'm going to pillage you for all your worth. Uh, let's go with number one. Number two. Get some history on this place. The Iron Throne. A ruin from the city's dark past that could become a template for a brighter future. It is the most useful tool for motivating my Gondian workforce. Key to the construction of the Steel Watch that keep the city safe. But like all tools, the moment it ceases to be useful, I will break it. Thanks to your trespassing, that moment may have come. Return to the docks, or the deaths of everyone inside will be on your conscience. Your mind turns to the Gondian hostages, bound in fear, their futures hanging by a thread in Gortash's web. All right. So, yes, we're doing a save here. Uh, 
I never really had a lot of success on this. So. But, you know, people are probably going to say, well, why don't you just go and blast uh, Gortosh? Well, you do that. He's got a uh, thing on his wrist that will uh, activate the self-destruct on the Iron Throne. So everybody gets cremated or crushed due to the water pressure. So let's just, let's just go for it. What the hell? That was a mistake. When the corpses start to wash up on the shore, remember, you could have prevented all this. your question what class am i playing uh base class is a drow paladin slash warlock um you're probably wondering about her wings and her horns and stuff like that those are mods uh i believe it's horns for all and the wings are wings unlocked so uh i i just kind of call her my demon drow so but yeah drow paladin is her base and then uh, I did a uh, secondary class on her as a warlock. Kind of contradictory, but it makes it fun for playing. Okay, here we go. Hold. A cold, suckering wetness grasps at your mind. A voice familiar to you from the Underdark wraps itself around your brain. You must act with haste. Duke Ravenguard is held within these walls. He must be extracted. Uh, number one, Omelion, is that you, buddy? Two, where are you? Tell me what to do. I want to free the Gondolian hostages. Get out of my head. Normally, I would find your people's lust for pleasantries amusing. Unfortunately, we have no time. There are many hostages here. Duke Ravenguard, chief among them. He needs your help. Okay, where are you? Uh, tell me what to do. Duke Ravenguard is held in the security wing. Be careful. There are many hazards. This structure is collapsing. Act with speed. Act with efficiency. Good luck. Hey, thanks, Will. Oh, six turns? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, boy. I think Duke Ravengard is over this way. Uh, yeah, I've never had much luck on beating this. On my way. Really, I don't got time to mess around with these things. See what else? Do I have enough? I'm out of movement speed. Please roll in my favor. Good move. All right, we're going to give it everything we got. Oh no, we're going to make this. Uh, 
south. Uh-huh. All right, can we get him? We have to keep one person up there. Everybody else can come. Oh man, we're out. Shoot. Put the focus. Onward. Let me strike. Right away. We'll keep her on guard duty. All right, here we go. That's one. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Cheers. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting kind of involved. This is like I've I've got five moves to rescue as many people as I can, and then it's toast. So I got to keep one person near the ladder. So. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh. You graven god. Hold on, I'm coming. All right. What do we got left? Okay, I got Misty Step. I have to, what? He's hostile? Oh man, that's not gonna go well. What should I do? On I go. Yes. Let's see. So I don't see anything here that we need to. Rescue. Oh. Uh, advantage all right we'll just keep her there doesn't have much shoot we gotta get him out of here go, go, go. got that right let's see all right no time no time to uh no time to uh mess around yeah Where's my dash? Breathe deep and move. Misty step for the win. Gone with the weave. All right, where is Gale going? 
Do I even need to send them here? Yeah, you do. Okay, so we've got... Um, to King five. We've got prisoners that we need to save. Uh, does he? Yes, he does. gonna load on these guys. Really? Shoot. And he's out. Let's just, uh, enough of that. Too bad there's a bunch of bad guys around. All right, we're gonna have to take out them. She still has some, she still has some tricks up her sleeve. Not sure what, but yeah. Nice hit! Wow! Your command. Gail's gonna have to take care of that. Taking up position. Let's see what she's got. <clears throat> I need some raw oh, nice. Target doesn't have a weapon. All right, we'll do this. Shoot him again. Get him again. Get him again. Get him again. Get him again. One more time. Yeah. Yeah. with a paladin fighter they're gonna mess you up all right nice hit nice hit she's out she's out ah oh, yes big mistake We're working on it, all right, lady? Just a little more to go. Come on! 
I got a, I got a bunch of stuff that I'm trying to keep straight here and you know Yeah, you on your own buddy Matero take care of that Ooh. Okay, we got a few turns left. Uh, let's see. Free the others. I'm too weak. All right, this is gonna be close. Okay, we can do this. Now remember, whatever we drop on this guy, Let's see if we can save uh, our millium here. Probably not. <clears throat> That thing down? Yeah, that thing's down. Let's see if we can trip this guy. Nice hit. Nice hits tonight.
Man, it's gonna be close. Hey man, how you doing, Green Tea? You must return there now. It's the only way we'll survive this. All right, so I, I got my main character back in the submarine, so I can basically sacrifice the rest of my squad and just resurrect them with uh, Withers at camp, if I remember correctly. And we saved the Duke, so we'll just keep her here. That way, you know, Tav lives or Reina lives. <laughs> But we're trying to rescue the other mind flare. So I think everybody's gonna, you know, go kaput here. Come on, people! Move, move, move! Alright. And of course, Gale had to get himself ensnared. So, all right, uh, Misty Step activated. Where's the lever? Right there. gonna make it these guys ain't gonna make it there's that lever okay perfect nice It is, you know. Hey, or or even colder. I know somebody's gonna be sleeping on the sofa tonight. That uh, you know, Irena and Shadowheart got a thing going there, and uh, yeah, Irena just kind of left her ass, you know. Ooh. You know. So. Yeah, these guys, we ain't gonna make it, you know? Quick, we can make it. 
better hurry up. See what happens. turn out well but hey you know that's what weather is for my pleasure hmm. all right so we got gail there we got one more person we got to rescue and Tara there All right, well, I'll flank out smart. That's fine. We just need her to get over there and... Now we can, uh... Sorry, baby. Had to sacrifice you. Oh, no. So there? Should be able to save two people in our party. All right. Eh. S sac sacrifice the girlfriend, you know. Escape to the submarine. I as much as I can, but hurry, we have little time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do we got? 
Yep, them two are not gonna make it, so. Oh! Teleport to submersible! <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, eh. So what if Gale don't make it? <laughs> or the Gondonians? <laughs> Teleport to submersible. Sweet! You know. to read the buttons or the instruction manual, you know? See, now, now, now they're pissed. <laughs> yes! So we only lost Gale. Woo. That was close. That was pretty slick. Nice to know that Omelium had the uh, teleport to submersible ability. The Gondonia screams you as the submersible slows to a halt. Unlike the Iron Throne, you remain intact. It seems most of the hostages from the throne share your fate. Duke Ravenguard approaches you, looking confused. He's tangled, but under my protection now, just like you. His mind is his own again. I'm free, in my own mind again, holy. I will not take it for granted. You acted quickly, decisively, and compassionately. I, nay, all of us, owe you no less than our undying gratitude. Uh, let's see, the Absolute's voice has gone silent. It must be a relief. What are you going to do now? And how did you end up in the Iron Throne? Uh... Oh, that's a pretty big... Yeah, we're going to go with this. It's where Gortash stores his playthings, his keepsakes. But I am his trinket no longer. My thoughts are my own now. And my purpose certain. I will wait at your camp. We can speak more there. Gods, we made it. We actually made it. All right, I think we need to talk to some of the Gondonians here. I can't believe we made it. With most of the party intact, you know? So, yes. Oof. Yeah, we'll resurrect Gale at camp. Listen, lass. Only a special sword could have done what you did. Thank you. Oh. My God, I'm glad you showed up. Hopefully Frell's not too worried about me. You were so heroic. My word. I can't wait to tell Scorv what happened. Gods, I hope he's all right. 
holds up a decision. All right. What you were doing with us was horrid. Thank you for saving me. Well, it's great to talk to him. I just, I, I can't thank you enough. I was certain that place was to be my cold, wet tomb. There were so many of us scattered through that place. To save so many was, it was brilliant. Just brilliant. We were kept hostage to control our families and the Steel Watch Foundry, to keep them building Gortash's death machines. Please, they need to know what happened here. They have no reason to obey Gortash anymore. If they rebel, it'll put a dent in Gortash's steel might. Absolutely. He, he did? Of course he did. I knew it. I knew he would do something. Nice. Nice. It's actually the uh, first time I've actually made it kind of somewhat successful through there. Oh God. It's free. Free. That's right, buddy. My sincerest thanks, friend. I don't know what possessed you to find us in that place. But I am surely glad you did. Yeah, no shit. Still hurts. But thank you. Nice. All right. Now uh, we're going to do an... a save because I don't want to go through that crap again. Exactly. Time, time for some payback. Your world's air. I never imagined missing its feeling on my skin. Curious. I owe you a great debt, child of the dark. One I shall repay. When I return to the surface, I will alert my colleagues at the Society. Find me there, and I will offer you what aid I can against this evil. Nice, I want that. You know? Insta teleport? Exactly. Green tea, it's it's payback time. And we're gonna go to the foundry and then we're gonna go talk to the person there and figure out how to shut all these steel watchers down. So Wait for all of them to offload. Let them disappear. That's right, Raina, you deserve a stretch. Speaking of stretches, it's almost time for a stretch break. We'll go resurrect Gale here in a minute. Since he didn't quite make it. Hmm, let's see. Yeah. No, harm no, 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 we don't want her to Always talk well to her. Again. Not as bad as it could have. Thank you again. May Gon's grace guide you. Okay. Uh, let's see. We want the Grey Harbor Dock. Can I go? Maybe we should resurrect Gale, you know? You have beaten and 
tormented us to the brink of insanity. You cut out my eyes, but we will bow no more. Gondians! Rip the motivator from this bastard's hands! For Gond! Oh! To keep going. Shit! Another fight? <sighs> Sorry, baby. <laughs> One more time. Prince's motivation sequence activated. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. Damn. Ready for battle. All right, Matera. A wise move. <laughs> this sucks. I was not counting on that. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Where's that damn thing? Motivator demotivated. Nice. Oh, she laid the hate on him. Yeah, smash. All right, let's talk to this guy now. Let's do another save because I really don't want to have to stress out about that, you know? Yep, just them two. I need a quick word. What happened to Obelia? Is she safe? Uh, let's see. She is, don't worry. Yeah, we'll just leave it at number one. <sighs> My heart. I thought her lost. I would give more than just my sight to keep her safe. Our destination is the Neurositor, the nerve center of the Steel Watch. Guide me there, and I'll do the rest. Agreed. Let's finish this. My fellow Gondians, flee this prison. We're bringing this place down. Right. Oh, don't, don't, okay. Thought the game was going to lock up on me there for a second. Let's have a look. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. Oh, we cooked her. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll use the uh, rune powder on something else. I think uh, the Gortosh fight, right? Or, ah, good point, the brain. All right, so. Do we have a target? We'll send Mintera out. Moving out. Where are you going? I clicked over there. So we'll send her out, send her back to camp. Have her resurrect Gale at Withers, and then they both can teleport back. There we go. Have her go to camp. Ah, 
another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I, I, you know, Arabella's kind of cool. A girl has left to hew her own path. She left behind a letter, as thou doth know. Hast thou other business? There we go. This is the price of balance. <laughs> uh, here's the gold, number two. Changed my mind. They can, they can stay dead for now. Wow, that's cold. That's cold. Well counted. I recommend keeping my distance for a moment. By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. Ah. Oh. Nice. There we go. Ah. Green. Um, okay. Iron gnomes have more at their hideout so i just steal it with invisible pots okay this vessel's service lies with those of great import thou art not oh dang madala just told mentera off wow she, she's a hireling so but yeah, she just told Mentera to go take a hike. Dang. Whew. Man, they did they they did add some extra uh lines into the last patch for uh whatchamacallit. Mm -hmm. Hirelings and stuff like that. Hmm? All right, now that we got the full party here, boys are back in town. I should say, ladies and boys are back in town. We're good to uh, yeah, we made a mess. All righty. Mine's never quiet. Okay. Nice. Moving in. Big boom. Big boom is always good. Oh, we forgot to loot him. So yeah, we already did the big boss fight down here. We, we cleared the place out.
Yeah, we we and we uh, pretty much blasted everything down here. I guess we talked to him, yeah. The neurositor. I can hear its hum. Familiar, yet painful. I helped design the steel watchers, toiled night and day on the first bipedal prototype. It is fitting it ends this way. I will bring down not only the steel watch, but the very foundry itself. This place will be smoke and rubble when I am finished. Are you ready, my friend? Wow. Yeah, Reyna has a tendency to make big messes, you know? So... All right. Like the foundry, the Neurositor's exterior is near impossible to penetrate. However, its inner circuitry is highly unstable. I'm going to rain fire upon it from the inside out. Okay. Gond, let your hammer be my courage, your furnace my heart. This better be good. Mm. Okay. That was a hell of a show, my friend. Watchers collapse in the street as we speak. And the foundry. Well, it won't stain this beautiful city with its abominations. Not anymore. But it's not over. So long as a single parasitic Gondian remains, Baldur's Gate is under threat. Enough, Wolbrin. Gortash enslaved us, forced us to build his steel watches, but no more. Take the city, let the Iron Hands reign supreme. I just wish to go home and hold my daughter. Wow. What about Gortash? What if he forces you to build up the steel watch once more? Tobin's right. It is over. Number three, what do you think, Wilburn? Oh, I don't like these decisions because I have a feeling this is going to end up in a fight. So, all right. Well, it is over. What about Gortash? What if he forces you to build up his steel watch once more? Eh. Probably the wrong one. He'll never find us. We have safe houses all over the city. We are no threat. I swear it. Please. <laughs> if a Gondian told me the sky was blue, I'd look outside and check. You Gondians will lie, scheme, and torment this city until your dying breaths. Let's end this! No. Wolbrin, enough! I won't watch as you poison your soul and the brilliant future that remains to the Iron Hand Gnomes. I thought the Iron Hand Gnomes had corrupted you, Wolbrin. Now, I wonder if it wasn't the other way around. Kill the Gondians, and you kill all we love. Collaboration, challenge, solving problems with the power of reason, creativity, and invention. 
I still want to believe you're better than that, Wolbrin. But even I am having my doubts. Wow, look at that wall of text. Holy shit. Perhaps the Iron Hand Gnomes need a new leader. What say you, Barkus? Intimidation. Walk away, Wolverin. I won't ask twice. Oath of Vengeance. Leave now, little Wolverin, or I'll split you from head to toe. Woo. I won't let you hurt. I won't let you hurt the Gondolians. Wolverin makes a good point. You must die for city for the city, Gondians. Um, uh, let's try persuasion. <laughs> exactly, green tea. You know, she's a redeemed dirge, so she's trying the peaceful way. And if that all fails, she just falls back onto her, you know, previous life experiences. All right, uh, we'll, we'll throw that in. We'll give some guidance and let's see. We'll uh, just throw some charm in there. But basically, I just need a two. That works also. I say, I say you're right. They deserve a leader who will encourage them to create, not destroy. They deserve someone like me. I can't save you from yourself, Wolprin. It hurts terribly, but I can't. Toss your values in the bin if you want, but don't throw out the Iron Hands with them. This is ridiculous. Iron Hands, kill this man. The Gondians recognize Barkus Root as leader of the Iron Hand Gnomes and look forward to ushering in a new peace between our factions. It is with a heavy heart that I remove Wolbrin Bongle from our ranks. You have until first light to leave the city. Wolbrin. I expect treachery from all sides, but you, little Barkus, the boy who followed me from the Underdark, who clung to me like moss to stone. When we next meet, my hammer will cleave your skull in two, and that is a promise. Wow, what a dick. Wow. Well, here we are. A most unexpected outcome. All right, uh, let's see. We're gonna go, let's see. You stood up to Wolverin, I'm impressed. Two, you'll make a great leader of the Iron Hand Gnomes. Three, you should have killed Wolverin. Eh, we'll go number two. She's trying to turn over a new leaf, however big that might be, so. I am many things. A leader is not one of them. But no time like the present to learn. And I can't do any worse than Walbring. Sorry as I am to say it. I don't know when he became so angry. So violent. But I'm glad to say I see the truth of it now. At last. Thank you for your encouragement. I needed it. And have done since the day we met. I may have lost Walbritain, but I found a far preferable ally. <laughs> Friend, even. Now, uh, myself and the Iron Hand Gnomes have much to disentangle. But when you're ready to face what's waiting for you, believe me, we will be at your side. <clears throat> uh, um, shoo, then. For now. My friend. All right. Woo. Got that settled. Let's check our journal. 
see what we got going Wow, it is shrinking Nice Right we have to go and talk to the mind flayer now, but uh, first things first, we're going to take a little bit of a break here. Stretch the legs out, stretch the back out, get another beverage, and we will be right back. <clears throat>
Still alive, so that's progress. All right, we are back. Have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. Got myself another drink, and we're gonna go ahead and talk to the mind flayer here. Checked on my sick kitty cat. He's not doing well, so I don't think he's gonna be around much longer. He's uh, 21. So he's lived a really good life. I really take care of my my animals and stuff, but he's, I, I think whatever he's got is getting the better of him at his age. So, right now he's just upstairs sleeping and I don't want to bother him or anything like that. So, but he's probably about, in human years, probably about 110 years old. So, I just have a feeling I'm going to end up having to, uh, peaceful, you know, put him into the ground soon, bury him. Let's go talk to the people upstairs. I think that's where he is. I think. Yeah, I am too. He's he's a uh, he's a good cat. He's been with me through uh, two marriages, crazy ass girlfriend, and uh, small cat. But, you know, I come to think about it, it's just like, you know, uh, I, yeah, I've had him for, you know, 20 years. Where does the time go? I appreciate that green tea. Strange. It is pleasurable to see you. Your intervention within the cult's underwater complex was a timely one. I am glad my carelessness did not cost the life of Duke Ravengard. That you also saved me was unexpected. Uh, let's see, number one. I would never have left you behind. I rather like you. Uh, why were you down there in the first place? Hard for, you, hard for you to reward me from the bottom of the ocean. True. I had no idea your expectations of me was so low. <laughs> God, some of these lines. I too feel some warmth at your presence. Uh-oh. Your inclination to generosity is an admirable quality, one I wish to reciprocate. Blurg and I have consulted on the matter of your reward. We first thought to ask the denizens of the Underdark for their aid in fighting the cult. Alas, our influence there remains negligible. Instead, we have selected a series of items from the Society's vaults. Given my kind's involvement in creating this evil, it is only right that I do my part in helping you defeat it. Or at least, Improving your odds. Ooh, shinies. We're going to check that shit out right now. Watch some, yeah, some green level stuff. Potions are good. Well, hi, Red. Are you trying to figure out how you can climb over the mic boom? This is Red. He's the latest addition to our family. So. He 
You're messing with my green screen there, buddy. You're gonna be famous. See, you're on the internet now. You're on the internet now, Red. Strange to think that I'm both brilliant and extremely attractive. Uh huh. Uh huh. Trying to figure out how to climb up in my lap. All right, good boy. You just sit right there on the desk. I'll give you. I'll give you pets with with one hand and, and like people ask, why do I game game with one hand? Because. I got a furry four legger. So your escape from the Iron Throne was a narrow one. Indeed, I find I now have an irrational fear of deep water. Yep, I think I would too. Hmm. I tell you, to this very day. I have a, you know, fear of the water too. Swimming pools okay, but lakes are okay. Uh, rivers, eh, not so much. Ocean, no way. I will not go into the ocean. It's because uh, when I was eight years old, uh, uh, I was at the beach with my mom, and she was at was there also with her friends and when I was growing up we pretty much all the kids and parents in the neighborhood would go to the beach they would hang out at the beach take the kids the parents would you know have beers and wine coolers on the beach and let the kids run off and go do their thing well I went out into the ocean not very far and got caught in a riptide and let me tell you that sucked me under rolled me around a bunch of times and uh, yeah thought I was gonna drown it, it would let me up and I, as I would see the Sun I gulp in some air and then it would just roll me and continuously roll me like this and by the time I was able to get out of it thankfully it's just because it dragged me down about a mile um, down the beach from where we were originally sitting um, yeah took me about a, took me down the took me down the coast about a mile and um, luckily, I recognized where I was because we'd gone to that beach hundreds of times. And I ended up walking back to where we were at. And uh, my mom and her friend were just going at it with the wine coolers and, you know, not paying any attention to us. So to this very day, my mom has no idea that that happened and um, yeah pretty pretty hairy and pretty scary so I have a great respect for the ocean and fear of it so um, now what we're gonna do in game is we're gonna go back to camp and uh, recharge our powers and stuff Oh, yeah, we got to talk to the Duke also. But you see, now if we go talk to Madala, she's nice. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. Ah, uh, don't tell me that. <sighs> All right, so where is the Duke? Okay, so we have to go talk to the Duke. <sighs> Uh, let's do a save. Mm 
Okay, PJ, welcome in, man. Uh, yo, man, did you know what you wanted to do with your life at the age of 31? I'm having trouble figuring an actual career. I make good money where I'm at, but I'm continuously burning out. Um, I always say, do what you're good at, but you have to enjoy it. Uh, when I first got into the IT field 30 plus years ago, um, I really enjoyed it, but I'm just burned out on it right now. You know, I'm more of a hardware type of person, you know, building computers and stuff like that. Really enjoy it. And now it's just kind of like, I don't want to see another hard drive or anything like that. So my advice is do something that you're good at, that you enjoy, and but you're not going to get burned out on it. Because once it starts to feel like work, you know, then 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 you're just kind of stuck with it. I mean, had I, for myself, had I gotten into the streaming field, you know, eight years ago, I would have, I think I'd be more successful at it. Um, I enjoy the streaming, but it just doesn't pay the bills. So I'm stuck. And that's the thing is I hate saying I'm stuck in the career that I chose when I was, you know, 22 and stuff like that. Um, for me, burning out is just kind of like, you know, it happens and then you just have to take a break from it. But when a hobby turns into like a job and you're like, oh man, I, I don't want to go, you know, do this today. It, 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 work's got to be fun. So, I mean, we spend most of our life working and find something that's fun or invent something that uh, nobody has invented, paperclip or whatever type of thing. So, I mean, like, what do you like to do is the question. First you cleave my heart in twain, now you shatter it to pieces. My son a monster. Twist it beyond recognition, to think my blood flows through those veins. Is this my fate? To be freed from Gortash's hell, only to be trapped in yours? It isn't what you think. It never was. You turned your back on me, on your city. To chase the she-devil and her power. She stinks up the place even now. It is exactly what I think. Um, no, it's... It's... No, that's normal, you know. You sell cars, I love it, and I make great money, but some days I just really think I'm turning my wheels. Is it normal to feel that way? <laughs> Not that I'm lazy, I'm just having days. That's normal, dude. That is so normal. Like some days when I'm at work, I, I'm, you know, kicking ass and taking names and just getting stuff done and uh, building out data centers and stuff like that. Love it. Then other days I'm stuck doing, you know, paperwork, documentation, knowledge bases and stuff. Hate it. You know, then other days, sometimes you're just, you know, like watching the hands on the clock. Um. I mean, if you like it, um, you, you can stick with it, you know, uh, maybe try branching out, maybe try some of the other trades, try a trade school or something like that, you know, um, electrician, plumbing, something like that. They make really good money. Trust me. Yeah, I do need glasses. I do have my, uh, I do have my readers right here, you know, so. Hey, Julia. Yep. Yep. I do have glasses, but they're for distance and these are my readers. Yeah. I'm an old fart. So. 
Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate the sub. And, uh, yeah, Julia, I do have a lazy eye also. That's a weak eye muscle. So, let's see. Your son sacrificed his soul to save yours. He had no choice. Will's devoted his life to protecting the coast. He's used his power wisely. I'm beginning to think we should have left, left you down there. All on the parasite, connect with father and son. All right, we're going to go to number four. Raven God's tadpole clenches as your memories and wills flow into him. My tears, Rose. I'm in your mind. The Grand Duke sees Mizora and her infernal sisters. He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice is set before him. No. My son. The past becomes present, and Will's thoughts are laid bare. Ravenguard sees Will partnering with Mizora to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege to Baldur's Gate, and he sees everything beyond. The Nautiloid journey, the perilous path to Moonrise, the astral prism, and the Emperor within. Will. Everything I did, I did for Baldur's Gate. I did for you. All right. It's the truth, Raven Guard. Will has always been a faithful defender of Baldur's Gate. It's time you two made up. We've got a city to save. Hey, I bet you feel like a real bastard right now. Oh, that's what I would be thinking, but even I have a filter. So uh, I think we're going to just go with number four and let the story kind of just play itself out yeah i connect yeah i did that i think i did number four green tea i i uh let the parasite do the talking you know my son you sold your soul to save Baldur's gate and i cast you out for it you gave yourself to the hell's eternal fire so i might walk free by the gods. Can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most, and a better son than I deserve. I'll yet make amends, but my duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this leads into another side quest. Before I was captured, I was on a mission. Returning from Alterel, I discovered the plans of the Absolutists. I immediately realized the city couldn't defend itself against such an army. I didn't despair, because the city has a secret guardian, a worm that sleeps beneath. He can be called upon in times of great need. This is such a time. You've been trained in the ways of the great champions and proven to be one of them. The worm will answer your call. You must seek him out. Ah, uh, a worm. Are you saying there's a dragon living under the city? What lessons do you mean? Waking a dragon doesn't sound like a good idea. No, it doesn't, but we're going to do it anyway. All right, uh, let's go number one. A bronze dragon, yes. He sleeps beneath us even now, awaiting a hero to rouse him. The worm goes by many names. Ansur, the waiting storm, the heart of the gate. He promised mm. Baldurin... He'd protect the city if ever its existence was threatened, but just the once. Since then, the city has faced countless threats, but we always overcame. There was never a need to call on the worm. Until now, the Absolute is the greatest threat Baldur's Gate ever faced. The worm must be awakened, and the task falls to you. Take this. 
The legend of Ansur. An ancient epic. Ill-remembered. Dismissed as a mere tale. Let it set the path before you. Oh no, yes, the dragon, you know. Oh no, I, I haven't done that one yet. Mm -mm. Cause I think you have to rescue the Duke first and then he gives you the book and gives you the side quest. I remember correctly what she just did. Uh, wouldn't you rather wake the dragon yourself? Of course she would, you know, rather have the Duke do it and be, you know, dragon food than her. Uh, your faith and will is well founded. We will seek the worm and ask for his help. Well, what do you make of this, please? You're asking the city, you're staking the city's future on a fairy tale. Let the dragon sleep. We'll deal with the absolute on our own terms. Eh. We'll go number two. Thank you. And may the city know the truth of my only son. Pride of Raven God. Pride of Baldur's Gate. Nice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just quick save that. Re recharge our powers. So I do have some announcements. So since this is the holiday month, pretty much when the holidays start up, um, I may or may not be on next Saturday due to family obligations and stuff. And then from November 15th through, uh, let's see, November 16th, I will be going out with friends that night people I haven't seen in a long time and then from uh, Friday the 22nd through the uh, let's see the 1st of December I will be on vacation it's my yearly vacation that I take so pretty much next Saturday will probably be my final stream for November and then the holiday season in December kicks off again, too. So, yeah. Um, I'll put my schedule up again. But, uh, yeah, so basically 16th, 23rd, and 30th, I will not be streaming. I will be doing the holiday thing and vacation thingy. So, just want to let everybody know. So I will probably be streaming next Saturday, though, because nothing has been filled up on the family calendar yet. All right, let's see. I don't think anybody wants to talk to us. So let's... Do a full rest. <sighs> All right. And then let's see where we need to go. Oh, we also have to, uh, you know, yeah, we got the guild hall to do. Yeah, we're definitely we'll probably be on next Saturday then. So we got the guild hall, then we got the dragon fight. So, yeah. I think this is a great spot to uh, call it for the evening. So I appreciate, and that's what we're going to do. Halson, uh, what do you mean by he's got a quest inside of Boulder's Gate? <laughs> I 
<laughs> that, that, that can be taken a couple of different ways, green tea. <laughs> I didn't think he had a quest, but are you, are you, are you, you know? Oh, yeah, that was like done in like, uh, I think it was like Act Two, I believe, towards the end. Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh huh. Climb Mount Housen. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that were, yeah, that that was definitely no pun intended done. So But yeah. And the uh the Drow twins? Yeah. In, in the uh at the uh gate Worms Crossing, I believe or something like that. I'm just like quest i'm like i don't think halson has a quest but if you're talking about you know climbing mount house and yeah <laughs> oh yes so yes definitely uh that type of stuff i pretty much don't stream those type of scenes the mature content scenes because twitch gets really weird about it you know, and also YouTube does also. But yes, so generally when those type of scenes happen, there's the be right back pops up real quick and the scene plays out. Otherwise I, I get strikes against my accounts and it, it's a pain to fight those. But yeah. <clears throat> the squirrel. Um uh, I, yeah, I, I really upset a couple of people one time when I admitted to the fact that uh, one of my previous playthroughs, we kicked the squirrel off the cliff, so. Yeah, they, they got upset. I mean, you just look what's going on right now with Peanut the Squirrel in New York, who got raided by a SWAT team, so. Yeah. You know, but no, yeah, I just, you know, kind of played a little bit, you know, on the cautious side because there's people that like to report and, you know, I've had to deal with a couple of those issues, got them cleared up and, but just don't like spending my time on trying to fix that stuff, you know, but uh, yeah, anyway. Moving along, um, so I should be streaming again next Saturday, the 9th, yep, the 9th, and hopefully you can get the uh, Guild Hall quest done and the uh, answer, answer Dragon Quest done, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here, appreciate everybody that came out, appreciate everybody that chatted, hung out. Thank you, Green Tea. Thank you, everybody else. Also, my people that lurk, my chatters, non-chatters, and passerbys. Appreciate all you. And that is going to be a wrap, my friends. And everybody have a good Saturday night.